It's day one of the Body Shaping for Women Over 50 series and it is a push strength day. Grab your dumbbells and let's go. All right, killer bees, let's get moving and grooving. And that means that we are getting started with some arm circles with high knees. And I very intentionally did not go out of the gate fast today because we are strength training today, you guys. Welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with our menopausal bodies. And right now, today is day one of the Body Shaping for Women Over 50 series. And I could not possibly be more excited about this workout. I'm also, to be honest, a little bit nervous. It's a push day and push day always leaves me or doesn't leave me. It starts me with a feeling of, okay, how much am I going to be able to push today? What's today going to be like? What, what's it going to feel like when I'm done? I know, I already know, it's going to feel sweaty. <laughs> it's going to feel sweaty and shaky and like we pushed. You guys, if this is your very first push workout, it's your very first time starting a body shaping program, welcome. I'm so excited for you. I want you to know that learning how to push is exactly like learning any other skill. And I think, I think you know, I mean, most of us kind of know. We know how to push. I mean, we know what it, we know what it's like to push too hard. We know what it's like to accidentally do way too much and be unable to move tomorrow. And I want you to know that that is not what today is supposed to feel like. I want you to find your upper limit and I want you to cruise like a quarter of an inch underneath it. I want today to be an effort for sure, but also not so much that you can't move tomorrow. Tomorrow is a recovery day. I'm already looking forward to it and that's exactly why we always plan for tomorrow. <laughs> My friends, let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Planning for tomorrow means that since you know that tomorrow is a recovery day, you know that you can give it your best effort today. I have here beside me every dumbbell I own. <laughs> like honestly, I plan on really truly finding my limit and pushing right up to it today. What that means for me is that I have had some practice with this. I've been working out for a lot of years. I know which exercises I can lift approximately which dumbbells with. I, I have an inkling about where I'm going to be today. I know how strong I'm feeling. I know how recovered I am from yesterday. Like I know my body really well. If this is new to you, I really, I want you to understand that it's going to feel different. It's going to feel like a little bit scary to push all the way to your limit. It's going to feel like maybe, maybe you didn't push enough. Maybe you pushed too much. This is absolutely a learning process. Whatever you do today, my number one goal for you is simply to have a good workout. We're going to have fun no matter what. Like this, this is going to be a great strength training workout. It is, there's absolutely no jumping. There's no cardio, no transitions to the ground today. We're all standing. Today honestly is a pretty basic strength workout. I stayed on both feet. We're not really working even too much on balance or anything. We're really finding our core and figuring out what kind of dumbbells are going to be the best weights for us. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. Ah, my friends, my friends, welcome to Agatha's home also. <laughs> She's joining us here on the back of the couch today. Cannot possibly be bothered to be moved off of the couch in spite of me chattering and the cameras and all the noise that I've been making getting ready for this. She's like, no, I'm not pushing anywhere today. <laughs> you guys. I have a variety of dumbbells and I want you to know that whatever you have is fine for today. As you, as you travel along this body shaping journey of yours, you will acquire more equipment. There was a, there was a time in my life, well, there was a time in my life when I didn't have any dumbbells at all, but there was a time in my life when I had one pair of dumbbells and it was what I used for everything. And it was kind of always a push, to be honest. Today I have I have everything. I go from three pounds to 20 pounds. I, I probably, I don't know. I don't know for sure if I'm going to use the 20s. And I want you to understand that if three pounds is heavy for you, that is heavy. This is so important. So important. There is never a minimum standard. There's honestly never a maximum standard either. Heavy for you is heavy. You never, ever, ever have to compete with me. What you have to compete with is your core strength and your excellent form. If you cannot complete these exercises with excellent form, drop your weight. 
weights. Like, don't even question it. Drop your weights. This is so much more about doing your best for your body than trying to, you know, lift a certain number of pounds. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares what you're lifting, my friends, except maybe you. You can keep records. You can get better as you go. But I, I am competing with myself. In fact, I'm not even competing. I am, I am looking forward to pushing myself with my own limits today. You guys, we're starting with a particularly difficult exercise, which is why this warm up is so extended. I really wanna make sure that you are warmed up. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of a minute and a half of work, and then we're gonna get 30 seconds of rest in between each exercise. It's a lot. We're starting off with a squat press, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna squat down, and as we come up, we're gonna press one hand up overhead. For me, I'm going Okay, I'm going rather heavy. I'm going my, my heavy. Oh, golly, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. Am I? There we go, there is the timer. Weights start here on your shoulder. We're gonna come down in a squat. As we come up, one hand goes up overhead. Make sure that you get that biceps all the way next to your ear. Then the weights come back down on your shoulder. Core is pulled in tight. Ugh, the entire time. I'm already grunting. That's good news. That means, that means that this is the right weight. If it feels super, super easy for you, if you have something heavier, you might try going a little bit heavier. This is a long interval. We're going to get through this circuit twice today. Don't knock yourself out on the first exercise, but think about excellent form and work at a pace that works for you. That might be slightly faster than me if it's too much faster. Again, if you have something heavier, you might want something heavier. If it's slower than me, that's totally okay. Excellent form is the name of the game. Make sure that your core is pulled in while you're down in the squat. Your core is pulled in while we're pushing, pressing up overhead. You're breathing, not holding your breath for any of this. Oh my gosh, this is what push day feels like. You guys, if you've done any of my workouts before, you're like, oh my gosh, Paula's not talking. This must be hard. Yep, that's what we do on push day. When it beeps, putting the dumbbells down, we got 30 seconds of rest. And I'm, I know for sure I'm swapping. We're going not really back and forth between like upper body and lower body. Oh my gosh. Okay, those were heavy. We're not really going back and forth between upper body and lower body, um, but we are doing different kinds of things. Coming up next, we're doing a front raise, side raise. I know for me, that's the top of my shoulders and like the upper back, That's those are not strong muscles for me. So I'm going down in weight a little bit. We're gonna stand with our feet about hip width apart. Core is pulled in super duper tight. As, when it beeps again, which I think it's going to any second now. When it beeps, we're gonna do a, here we go. We're gonna do a front raise with one arm and a side raise with the other. Now you'll notice as you're going, not really across your body here, but working in a different plane on one side of your body and the other, your core is doing a lot of this work. Now obviously it's coming from your shoulders and upper back as well. Make sure that your knees are soft but strong. You're not locking your knees ever, I mean literally ever, because when you do, that actually brings all the stress of standing into your knees rather than making your core do the work. Your core stabilizers are working even when both feet are on the ground and you need all the power from your core. Oh my goodness, that you could get right now. I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. Take a breath in between and making sure that I'm not hoisting. If you feel your lower back curving, if you feel yourself swaying backwards, trying to get your arms up, you can either drop weights or you cannot lift your arms as high. Either one of those is perfectly acceptable. You wanna make sure that you are lifting with your muscles, not with momentum. And I can totally feel the difference here, I'm noticing it because I can see myself in the camera also, but I'm noticing that my right arm actually has a fair bit of tension up in my neck. Oh my gosh, 30 seconds of rest. Okay, coming up next. This is where, oh, but you know what? I have more weight if I use the two, these two guys. Okay, we're doing deadlifts next. 
deadlifts for me is my strongest exercise. This is all glutes and hamstrings. If you don't know, choose something moderately heavy, but heavy enough. Your glutes are the biggest muscles in your body. They're probably your strongest muscles, but you need to find them. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Your core is pulled in super, 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 super tight. Your back stays straight the entire time. Your knees might bend a little bit. Mine do. That depends on your flexibility. As you are coming down, you're thinking about controlling the motion, pulling in your core. It all comes from your abs. As you're coming up, the work goes goes into your glutes. At no point in time, whew, doggies, should your lower back be feeling this. The weight's in your hands, so you might feel it a little bit like in your shoulders, in your big latissimus dorsi, but this is not an upper body exercise. This is lower body. Your hips, your glutes are driving everything you do. Push your hips back behind you. Don't let your back curve whew, and then pull your hips back to your center of gravity making sure you're breathing. Oh my gosh, and doing a fair bit of grunting as well. I often find that for this kind of an exercise, that really kind of focusing on one place, like in the middle distance, really helps me get out of, out of what I'm seeing and into what I'm feeling. Think about your body. Ask your glutes to do this work. Your, your gluteal muscles won't work unless you ask them to. We sit on them so much. We ask them to do so little in our modern, modern world. If you wear high heels at all, you've taken a lot of your walking and running type motions out of your glutes. 30 seconds of rest. Asking them to work is the way we get them to work. Coming up next, we're doing X marks the spot, which is all abs. We're literally drawing an X in front of us. You're gonna feel it in your arms too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the really big boy. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try the really big boy and we'll see. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes this works out really well. Sometimes this works out kind of poorly. X marks the spot. We're gonna start up at one shoulder. We're gonna chop down. Oh my gosh, using your abs. If at any point in time, like always, if at any point in time you feel your lower back doing this work, drop your weight. Your core is pulled in so tight. You're chopping from your shoulder down to your hip and then bringing it up to that same shoulder and chopping down the other side. So the dumbbell is making an X in front of you. There is a bit of a twist. You see me, I'm twisting a little bit, but I'm really controlling that twist by squeezing, squeezing, squeezing from my abs. Oh my gosh, I'm noticing that my arms, specifically my hands are really sweaty and it's kind of hard to hold on to this heavy dumbbell. The work in my abs is okay, but my hands, the grip is really difficult. You'll notice things like that. Chop. This is the resting position when it's down. If you need to rest, make sure that you're resting in a position where your core is still pulled in, but you've got the weight somewhere where you're not using bad form to hang on to it. Again, if your lower back is, pull, is volunteering for this work, make sure that you drop your weights and you really think about excellent form. Oh my gosh, when it beeps again, and it will, we're gonna get 30 seconds of rest. Chop. This is, this is the thing about push day, you guys. It's work, it's a lot of work. Every exercise, oh my gosh, every exercise feels tough. Coming up next, we're doing biceps curls. I'm super debating which one of these I'm going to be able to do. Uh, I'm going to try the heavier ones. I, I feel like I'm probably going to drop weight on this one. <laughs> I, I don't know, honestly, if I can do that many biceps curls with these heavy boys. Feet are hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Core is pulled in super tight. Your elbows don't leave your waist slash your hip bones. Oh my gosh, if you feel yourself swaying or rocking or your lower back trying to do any of this work, drop your weights. Biceps only. Having your elbows locked into your waist is what makes the biceps do all the work. As you're coming down, you can feel that your triceps are also helping. That's what they're supposed to do. This is biceps and triceps. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm regretting this weight, but I'm capable, so I'm going to keep doing it. This is what push day feels like. I'm capable, but I don't wanna. <laughs> you guys, if 
oh my gosh. If it's too tough, halfway through, drop your weights. It's totally okay. Specifically on this one here, you'll feel when your form really starts degrading, feel free to grab a different kind of weight. Make sure that your elbows are totally locked in and that you get full extension. Your hands should be resting on your thighs when you're at the bottom of this motion. It's a resting position, ah, which is why we have to pull it all the way up from that resting position. There's no momentum, it's all inertia. That's what's hard about biceps curls. If you keep a little bend in your elbow, oh, it's a little bit easier, isn't it? Try going to full extension and you'll feel how difficult this is. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 30 seconds of rest. <sighs> oh my gosh, so happy. About 30 seconds of rest. Okay, coming up next, we're doing letter X's. This is all from the big muscles in your back. We're literally creating the letter X by having our hands up and out to the side, to the top, and then up and out to the side, or down and out to the side on the bottom. I'm, I'm definitely dropping down from the biceps curls. I'm trying to decide how low I'm gonna go. I think I can do these, we'll see. We'll just see, won't we? Round two, round two might be all lower weights. We just have no idea. Get yourself set. Feet are planted, knees are soft but strong. Core is pulled in tight. Weights start right here at the middle. We're going up to full extension. Back to your middle. This is your resting position. Pulling your core again and then lower position. Okay, I could have gone lower than this. These weights are heavy. Now here's the thing, you'll notice my elbows do not ever lock in the out position. That's on purpose. When you lock your elbows, your elbows are doing the work. That is a really good way to give yourself tennis elbow while lifting weights. You wanna make sure that the work is coming from the middle of your back. Those big, big swimmer muscles, they are meant to do this work, but they won't if we don't ask them to. That's the funny thing about your body. Your body is so 100% capable of doing everything you ask it, but sometimes it gets really lazy about which muscles are gonna do the work. Sometimes that's just based on like our own movement patterns. If we're not asking the big muscles to work, the little muscles will totally take over and then they get used to it and you've got what's called muscle memory and your body just keeps moving the same way over and over and over. It's why you might not have ever gotten the results you were looking for in your workout program before. If you are not physically, mentally commanding your big muscles, oh my gosh, to do this work, they won't, they just, they just won't. It's not automatic. Moving your body the same way that I'm moving mine, 30 seconds of rest, put your weights down. Moving your body the same way I'm moving mine doesn't mean you're using the same muscles as me. When it beeps again, oh, here we go. We're doing a reverse lunge curtsy lunge. That's where I brought out my big boy for because I'm only gonna carry one weight, partly just to give my gripper a chance to rest a little bit, so I'm holding it a little bit differently, right here underneath my chin, which might make my audio a little bit weird, and I apologize for that. Pull in your core and remind yourself to go slow. I'm reminding myself to go slow. We're coming back into a reverse lunge and then directly into a curtsy and then back to standing. That's where we breathe. Okay, we're both breathing the whole time though. So back into a reverse, over into a curtsy, up into standing. Oh, do you feel how that work is coming from your abs? That's because of this big heavy weight right here at your chest. <sighs> Reverse, curtsy. Make sure that your knee, your front knee, is not going over the top of, like in front of your toe. It's a huge step back, a huge step out to the side. Really, really thinking about pulling in your core, thinking about using your abs to direct this. This is balance work, my friend. I mean, obviously you're gonna feel this in your butt and your legs, but it's your abs. Everything is abs if you're doing it properly, especially when you have nice, big, heavy weights in your hand or even one heavy, oh my gosh, weight in your hand. My heart is pounding. Isn't that hilarious? We're doing strength work. This is slow moving. I know if you're only watching, because <laughs> I know sometimes you preview. If you are only watching this and you're not following along, you're like, why is Paula moving so slow and grunting so much? Because <laughs> it's hard. This is hard work, my friends. Oh my gosh. Okay. Very carefully lowering that weight oh, down to the ground because I'm definitely not using that one again. 
that was the circuit, you guys. That was it. We're starting again with the squat press. And it's push day, which means I'm going to push myself, even though I really don't want to pick up the same weights that I picked up for the first round. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I'm going to because I can and because tomorrow is recovery day. This is why we plan for tomorrow. Get those weights up here on your shoulder. Here we go with the squat press. Feet about hip width apart, coming down into a squat. Oh my goodness, and up and do a press. Biceps right next to your ear the entire time. Take your time. Get all the way to that good form. That, my friend, is how you are asking the right muscles to do the right work. Okay, we've come to the point in the workout where I'm closing my eyes. That, my friends, means that I'm working hard. We've skipped right over the part where I sing. <laughs> These are my tells. <laughs> Don't ever play poker with me. I'm terrible. Or do play poker with me. I'm terrible. I have lots of tells. You always know what's going on with me. When I laugh a lot, I'm probably nervous. Oh my gosh, when I'm singing, that means the work has gotten hard. But if I skip over singing and I go straight to just closing my eyes and grunting a lot, that means that it's a push day. And that this is my limit. I'm pushing to it. When it beeps again, we will be done with squat presses for the rest, oh my gosh, of this week. Certainly, <laughs> I'm, oh my goodness. Still using good form, really thinking about every muscle that is doing its good, best job right now. Not your lower back, but your core, your big back muscles, your gluteal muscles. <sighs> oh my gosh, there it is. I knew it was going to beep. Ah, thank you. Thank you, beep. Coming up next, front raise, side raise. Once again, I really don't want to use the same weights that I used for round one, but I know I can. I know I can. And these actually feel really light right now because I just dropped the, the heavier ones. Okay. Front raise, side raise. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart or about hip width apart. Whatever feels comfortable. Knees are soft but strong. Core is pulled in tight. One hand is doing a front raise while the other is doing a side raise out to the side. Did I just say these felt light? Oh my gosh, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Okay. You guys, this is the point in any push workout where you and I both just regret every life decision we've ever made that led to this point and to having these weights in our hands. This is what push day feels like. If it feels, if you're thinking to yourself, wow, this is not as hard for me as it is for Paula, it might be time for you to invest in something a little bit heavier if you are still using really excellent form. If you are using excellent form and this feels pretty easy, honey, you can totally go heavier. Isn't that an exciting thought? There will come a time when, there will never come a time when push day feels easy. It's not supposed to. You will get stronger though, and you might be able to lift heavier. This is, this is about as heavy as I really want to lift in my life. Honestly, I have, I have plenty of resources and I'm not really aiming to be like a bodybuilder or get a whole lot stronger than I am. My, my real goal with this body shaping is to make sure that I am keeping as many muscles I can, as I can and strengthening the ones that I can too. I'll be really honest with you guys. 30 seconds of rest. Put those weights down. I have not over the last like month or two been quite as diligent with my strength training. I'm really excited about this program. I'm going to lift up some heavy things again. We're doing deadlifts next. Okay. This one, I'm not worried about doing the big boys. I got this. I got this. Deadlifts. I actually really like deadlifts. I know some of you don't. My butt, my butt is the strongest muscles. They really are. I like deadlifts because it feels to me like, like doing something that I enjoy and that I'm good at. This to me is like, it's kind of like coming home. I hope you have an exercise like that too. Make sure that you're pushing your hips back. Your core is pulled in tight, 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 tight. And then you're pulling your hips forward. In fact, the next time we do deadlifts on a push day, I'm probably going to bring out my bigger boys because this is actually pretty doable for me. And that's a really exciting feeling. 
and it's nice because it's the only exercise on this list that feels actually doable. And I do hope that there's something in this list for you too. Like, yes, it's a push day, but also, you know, I don't want you to feel defeated. I don't want you to feel like this was the hardest thing you've ever done and like you can't go on and like push days just are terrible or anything like that. It should feel like like an exciting challenge. Like, oh my gosh, I, I almost can't even believe that I did that because because it was a lot. It was really good work. It was it was tough and you are tougher. I mean, that's such a good feeling. It's so empowering. That's what deadlifts feel like to me. They feel really empowering. Core is pulled in tight. Hips are doing the work. Even though I am chattering through this one, make sure that your back is straight. Your abs are doing the work. Your glutes are doing the work. You're breathing, of course. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Okay. Oh, those weights go down. Okay. Coming up next. Oh, oh, X marks the spot. Am I gonna go as heavy as I went the first round? Am I? I am I'm making the face, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, this is happening. I can do this. How about you? How are you feeling? You feeling pretty good about all your choices? <laughs> all your life choices that led to this moment in time. X mark the spot. Feet for me a little bit wider than hip width apart so we could really get a good stable base underneath us. Core is pulled in tight. Bring it up to your shoulder. Chop it down. Whew. Hold on to your abs. Now here's the thing. Here on round two, here's what sometimes happens. We sometimes, oh my gosh, you know what I was just thinking? Did I use the 20 for this last time? Maybe I did. Maybe I went with my really big boy because this actually feels pretty doable. Should I go up? I am. I'm going to go up. Here's the thing. It's good to make, oh golly, okay. It's good ah, to make informed choices here on the second half of our workout. Sometimes, sometimes we start off really strong. You know, our, our ego starts trying to write checks that our body just can't cash. But sometimes we start off a little bit nervous, like, okay, I'm going to go kind of light. I want you to, I want you to do your best ah, to make this an even effort for both rounds. Mm, trying to pick up the same weights that you picked up last time, trying uh, your best to really push uh, the entire time. I know there's a real desire to drop weights, to start modifying, moderating, not modifying, you can always modify. You can always modify any exercise that doesn't work for you, but really moderating, really not pushing this hard the entire time. Do your best uh, to find that limit, to really push. This is the only day that we do this. Tomorrow, oh my gosh, tomorrow, how much are you looking forward oh, to recovery? Tomorrow, I happen to know because I designed the workout, 30 seconds of rest. Tomorrow, we're doing a glorious and very relaxed stretch. We've got 30 seconds of rest here. Okay, biceps curls. Oh, oh, how? How did I know this was coming? And I need to give myself the same speech that I just gave you. I'm going to lift the same weights but I'm gonna complain about it. <laughs> I saw this t-shirt one time, like a workout shirt that said, I'll do it, but I'll cuss the whole time. <laughs> Elbows locked into your weights, core pulled in. Oh my goodness, super tight. <sighs> yep, 100% regretting this. I am gonna complain. This is not easy. I don't like it. I don't wanna but I'm still capable. This is still good form. My elbows are locked into my waist. I'm just going to really take my time. We're not counting reps for a reason. You are meant to go basically to fatigue. You should get to the point where you think to yourself, there's really not one more rep I can do here. <sighs> Breathing, making sure you're getting enough oxygen to fuel this work. Resting, uh, pulling up, and then relaxing down, except it's not really relaxing. You're actually just using your, your um, oh my gosh, can I think of the word? Oh, your opposing muscles. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You know this, this is one of Newton's laws of physics. For every muscle you have in your body on one side of the bone, there's another muscle or set of muscles Oh my gosh, on the other side that are helping stabilize. So even though this is a biceps curl, your triceps are 100% working through this motion too. Even though you've isolated 
Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, for that beeper. Oh, wowzers. Okay. Coming up next. Letter X's. I'm definitely not doing the heavy boys. I'm doing the ones I did last time. I'm still capable, but those, those were doable last time. Okay. These don't feel very light just so you know, but you guys, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're so close to done. I'm so excited about this. See, this is, this is the point in a push workout where you're like, okay, I've been pushing this far. I can finish this off. Letter X, start here in the middle. Core is pulled in super tight. Knees are soft but strong. Up to the top half of a letter X. Really make sure you're not swaying backwards. I totally just felt myself trying to sway backwards. Pull in your core. Excellent form the entire time. We're not trying to do a million of these. In fact, I'm not counting, but I'm assuming that I'm really only doing somewhere between five and 10 in this minute and a half. I'm really not trying to get a lot more than that done. This is plenty of work in case you didn't notice. <sighs> yeah, I know I'm stalling. Stalling here in the middle because this is hard. <laughs> I'm not done complaining. <laughs> You guys, you guys, I know this is different, huh? If you've done my, like my weight loss workout specifically, if you're coming directly off of the weight loss series and going straight to this body shaping series, you're like, this is a whole different Paula. <laughs> it really is. I want you to do your best and I want you to have fun and enjoy the workout. But this is work, you guys. Push day. Push day is hard. Push day is the one day a week where we're not just laughing and smiling it's not all puppies and rainbows this is this is how we make changes in our body honestly this this kind of work we certainly don't need to do a lot of it but we need to do it we need to go a little bit kind of a lot outside of our comfort zone and just ask our body to do something it's not used to doing that is how we change our body if we could change our bodies you guys by doing the exact same thing that we've always been doing Obviously, I would tell you to do that. <laughs> Obviously, you guys, here it is. Reverse lunge, curtsy lunge. I'm going with my big boy again because, because I can. Because the last exercise, I'm capable, I'm strong enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me. Okay, <sighs> right here underneath your chin. This is more biceps work in case you didn't notice it on round one. Big step back, core is pulled in super duper tight. I totally just fell and then turning it into a curtsy lunge <laughs> and then standing up. My core was not entirely ready for that. So let me give myself that pep talk again. Pull in your core super duper tight. This is a big step back. It's balance work. Every inch of me is shaky and sweaty right now. So I'm gonna just slow this down a little bit. I'm gonna do as many as I can and it's the last exercise. So my effort here is going to continue to push but not beyond what I can do. Right up to it though. Okay. Big step back. Really thinking, especially that big step back, honestly. And I actually had somebody comment really recently that while she was doing the weight loss series, she discovered about herself that that big step back sometimes feels really scary. Isn't that interesting? That brain body connection, that is what we are working on here, especially on these push days. We're really thinking, what can my body do? Where is my body in space and time? And what, what do I need to ask of it to be able to do this work? Really thinking about the sides of your hips on this one. That's what the curtsy lunge is doing. Really thinking about your abs, holding you there in space while only one foot is on the ground and the rest of you is moving backwards. I mean, that is scary. Ha 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 ha, put that weight down. My friends, okay, now we've gotten to the point where I'm singing. 30 seconds of rest, we're done. We're not quite finished. Here's the great news. It may be not feel like great news right now. We're gonna work on balance for the finisher. As I promised you yesterday on day zero, every single day for the finisher, we're doing something balancey. When it beeps again, we're doing a minute and a half of star balance. And yes, that means it's a minute and a half of having your hands above your head, but there's nothing heavy in them. So both hands up. We're going to tip over to one side. I'm a little teapot. Not really that short, not really that stout, but oh my goodness. When I get all steamed up, I do start to shout. <laughs> we're gonna go the other way. This is only one interval. So we're going back and forth, right side, left side, etc. We only have the two sides, but right side, left side, then back to the right side, back to the left side. 
<laughs> this is the finisher. It is not, in fact, significantly harder than the rest of everything that we've done today, but it is, oh my gosh, super important for us on this journey. You know, this body shaping journey has a lot of different facets. When we're shaping our body, we're thinking about not just building muscle, not just getting strong, not just getting buff or tone, but really working every system in our body. This balance work, critical to getting stronger, critical to your heart health. When you are working these deep core stabilizers, it's going to help you do everything else in the world. Tomorrow, my friends, ah, tomorrow, we're still going to have a little bit of balance because we're going to do our balance every single day. But tomorrow's recovery day. Tomorrow is going to be gentle. We're going to stretch. It's going to feel glorious after today's push day. Make sure that today you are really thinking plan for tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna do a little bit of cool down here. Plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow is recovery, and that means you need to fuel for recovery. We just totally broke down every muscle in our body. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles here. That means today we're really thinking about eating some protein, really thinking about building the protein or eating the protein to build your muscles that we just totally broke down with this heavy work. Eating, I'm not gonna tell you how many calories or exactly how much like more to eat over your baseline. You'll know based on your effort and on your hunger level, I'm gonna be eating, I'm gonna focus on protein today and probably have a few more calories, like maybe 100 or 200 more calories than what I consider my baseline. This is all discussed in the book that I hope you downloaded yesterday. If you didn't, it's in the description box today. Let's go ahead and do some arm openers. Ah, open up your heart, open up your chest, take a nice big deep breath, and then close it up. Give yourself, oh my gosh, a big hug and a pat on the back, especially if today was your first push day. My friend, my friend, you survived it. I'm so proud of you. Oh my goodness. Make sure that you fuel for recovery and also that you do the extended cool down that's right here on screen. Make sure that you get your muscles, get, let them relax, let them go right back to their normal position and feeling good. You are likely to be a little bit sore tomorrow. Don't worry about that. That's why we have recovery tomorrow. My friends, my friends, if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.